hey girlfriends and to everybody else what up youtube stick around to see how i got this soft glam everyday makeup look and get the deets on my outfit all right so we're just gonna jump right in we're gonna start with my favorite my new favorite primer by elf it is so smooth glides on so gently and i love that it hit my pores pretty well better than i expected for the price all the links will be below of all the products i use in case you want to try them out All right, now we're gonna go in with my favorite and one and only concealer that I use and only use and just prime my eyelids, you know, make them all one color and it's a good prep for putting eyeshadow. And right here, I'm just adding some concealer to my under eye as well. Next, we are going to set my eyes with my favorite setting powder. It is a black owned company called Beauty Bakery. And I'm going to just set my eyelids. And I'm also going to spread this all over my face as you'll see in a minute. next eyebrows and this is my favorite eyebrow pencil to use For the shadow part, this eyeshadow is going to be very simple. Two shadows, eyeshadows. Anybody can do this, I promise. Simple. This is for like a quick little everyday look. Two brushes I'm using. I am going to be using this Eco Tools brush. You can't tip Eco Tools. And this is a shade brush. I like this little set. I'll link it below. I'll if I can find it on Amazon, it should be on Amazon. Um, I'll link it below the exact packet. I like Eco Tools brushes because it has like the little, um, it tells you what to do with each of them. Like this one says shade, it says shade, and it has the other end. So, and we're gonna use this to shade in. Let's get to shading. So, I'm using my favorite palette, NYX Ultimate Edit Palette. I'll link it below. It is definitely on Amazon. It's just like a go-to everyday palette. My favorite, I love it. You can't go wrong with this palette. It has everything you need for everyday look. So I'm gonna go in first with this light brown shade in this palette and put it all over my lid. A little above the arch, not arch. A little above the crease and up. Now 
that that's done. You see it's just a light, just a light little shimmer, nothing much. I'm gonna use this small um, crease brush. I want it to be a little smaller because I don't want it to pop too much color. And I'm gonna hold it lightly. You always hold your eyeshadow brush lightly so that you can, you don't wanna hold it like this. You wanna just lightly dust it off. But I'm gonna use the darkest shade in this palette. And I'm just gonna start in the outer V, working away in the crease and just the crease only. If it gets a little bit of crease, it's not a big deal. But we want it to focus on the outer V and crease. And let's go. All right, and now that we have it in the crease, I'm gonna go across the top a little bit with the first shade we use, just to bring a little bit of the color back and a little in here, in the inner V. Almost like you're blending it, but not. You don't want it to look too harsh. And just go like that. And you have a regular look. I'm gonna do the other eye and come back. All right, now that both eyes are done, I like to go with my little flat brush off the side just to get the excess color off to straighten it out. Like that. Like that. And we're gonna do the rest of the face. Almost done. So for coverage, I'm using my favorite go-to, NC45 Mac Pro Longwear. And we're gonna do my trick that I use just to cover the spots. And that's it. So let's go. that's applied it looks like okay, over here hold on if you want all the little dark spots to be covered and you don't gotta blend it in yet okay I'm gonna let this dry and the brush I was using is the elf flawless concealer brush it'll be linked below my favorite concealer brush it just darts on perfectly for the you know to conceal the spots and while that is drying I usually put a powder on but I wanted to dry a little more today before I put the powder on I've been noticing if I put the powder on too quick it kind of removes the concealer so we're gonna go back to the eyes and finish with an eyeliner today we're gonna be using my NYX eyeliner basic eyeliner and we're just gonna I like to do a light um, creep light in the inner eye and then get a little darker as I go out and that's what I'll be doing. That's done, you see, there's nothing, nothing too much. Darken that in a little more. Just a little line, and I did it lightly on the bottom. And if you want, you can smudge it. Sometimes I smudge it a little. With This is another NYX, um, well this is Revlon Color Stay. You can use anything with like a little smudge like that on the end, or you don't have to, you can use a brush. I just kind of rub it in on the outer V. Keep that line thin as possible. Just make it a little dark here. Look like that. Simple. Eyeliner is done. I'm loving how it's come to go. It's just a simple, quick look. I love this. And we're going to powder my face with the Beauty Baking Powder we're using. Sometimes I use Laura Mercier, which I love, but I'm kind of running low. 
and I haven't bought any more yet. But I love this Beauty Bakery powder. It's not as expensive and it gets the job done. And I had some, so use it. So we're gonna be going, it, just, it does the same thing. I'm gonna be going over my concealer that I've laid already with just a light dusting of the powder with this e.l.f. Multi-Use Face Powder Brush. And like this. gonna go in with this is actually an elf highlighting brush but it really gets the job done with blending my makeup I know it's weird I just use what works so I use this to blend it's a little dirty I say this every time I need to clean it but I use it so much it gets dirty real fast but it gets the job done and just pat it in I guess because it's a light it lightly pats it in because we don't want to move the, the concealer around too much so we're just gonna go in and pat all over and blend it in. Let's go. I went in already and I just dusted the face powder all over. Um, the same powder we've been using now. I'm just going to do some lashes. I'm going to keep it simple since we're doing a simple look today. Something with not too much flare. I'm just going to put those on and I'm going to show you my go to nude everyday lip. All right, lashes done. Time for my go to lip. Favorite Kiss Brown Liner. My favorite gloss, Butter Gloss by NYX, it'll be linked below. It's in Fortune Cookie. And if you wonder if I hate you, I do. of you to make me feel just like this. What I would do to make it feel just like this. And if you wonder if I hate you. There we go. Simple glam, quick eyeshadow. And we're done. I'm going to get these curlers out edges laid look at my video before this if you want to see that my get ready my get ready with me before this if you want to see that I'm just gonna lay take these rolls out like these edges and when I come back with the outfit that I'll be wearing all right here is the outfit so I'm gonna wear this top it came with a short set and a Shein set, but I don't like how the shorts look with this, so I'm wearing black jeans with this, and I'm gonna show you the shoes and accessories. All right, here are the accessories. It's just a gold layered necklace, and my hoop, I love gold hoop. Just really makes this look come together. And shoes. These are the shoes I'm wearing, these Hirachis. They are hard as shit to put on, but <laughs> I hope you wore them one, and it just completes this look. It just completes the look. So I'm gonna be doing this. All right, and this is the bag I'm carrying. It has like a little gold accent on it, gold necklace. Here's with the shoes. I'll insert a full body shot as well, but this is what we're going with. Oh, and to put these sirachis on, y'all, butter knife. If you don't have a shoehorn, use a butter knife. Slip right on. My hair is not the best because it's dirty, but I used dry shampoo in it, and it did pretty good. I just rolled it today, and it'll do for now until I can wash it because I'm just out of conditioner. But came together, and... About to go eat lunch with the boo. And he's out, y'all.
make you love Make your bad decisions Now we can get in your love I'm good, what's the difference? Still good, it's the difference I'm good, 